Hurricane Katrina killed more than 100,000 trees across New Orleans, and one group believes that's another factor that's making the recent flooding so bad. Jacqueline Quinn shows us how they're taking action now, starting in the neighborhoods that flooded the most last weekend. This is still a very, very young tree. This is the Sweet Bay Magnolia. That tree one day could be one of New Orleans' greatest defenders from flooding. We are going to plant 600 this year. Susanna Burley works with Sustaining Our Urban Landscape, or Sol NOLA, and it's a nonprofit aimed at improving green infrastructure. And she's personally experienced floods herself. We all feel so helpless and like we don't have any control like with the flooding that happened. But this is something that everybody can do. She says during heavy rainfall events, what's needed most is a way to slow down water runoff. And that's where these thirsty trees come in. For example, bald cypress and live oaks can drink 800 to 1,000 gallons of water a day. Last year, the group was able to plant 190 trees, but the goal is to engage one neighborhood at a time. So far, that includes Mid-City and Algiers. And in that process, something new has sprung up. It also helped neighbors sort of get together and, you know, if I know my neighbor has the same trees, we can engage in conversation like, oh, how are your trees doing? How are your trees doing? Those neighbors also helped recruit other participants. So this is exactly what we're trying to do is cluster trees close together so they can more quickly impact stormwater and all the other issues we're trying to solve. Of course, trees are cool for other reasons. You know, trees do a lot for us, right? They help us breathe, they clean the air, they make it beautiful, so there's just no downside. While the city still needs to address a lot of infrastructure issues with flooding, Burley says more trees could help. In New Orleans, Jacqueline Quinn, Eyewitness News. And more information on how to get trees in your neighborhood can be found online. You can go to our website, wwltv.com.